Hello! In this video, I will demonstrate you the abilities of Scandi PWA in regards to product listing page management. Specifically, I will showcase category content and default product sort by changing, removing attributes and changing the order of them in the layered navigation, changing the attribute type, adding an attribute to the product card, and changing the product image and price. As you can see now, the default product sort by is sorting by position in ascending order. I will open now the women category in backend and change the default sort by to price. I will as well expand the content section, remove the image and update the description. I save the category and I will see the update without any cache flushing operation involved as this is a part of Scandi PWA caching solution. Now if I open content, refresh the page, I can see the updated content and the default sort by updated to price low to high. Now I will remove color attributes from layer navigation, change the attribute type of size and switch the order of it with shoe size attribute. I go to backend, open stores, product attributes, remove color attribute from layer navigation, change the attribute type of size to drop down and make it the last in the order. I will follow the magenta note for refreshing invalidated cache types. Open frontend, refresh, and notice the change is visible. As you can see on the product card, we have a color swatch preview, price, product name and image, but you can also add any attribute to be displayed under the product name. I will now choose a brand attribute to be displayed there. I open backend, go to stores configuration, select our store view, Go to Scandi PWA Content Customization and in the Product List section I will select our brand attribute. Save config and follow the magenta node to refresh and validate cache types. I will open frontend, refresh the page and see the brand attribute appeared under the product name. Next, I will change this product image and add a special price to it. I have already opened the product in edit. I will now add a special price. And set a different picture as small. And again, without any cache flushing operations, I will go to frontend, refresh the page, and see the updated product. Now I will scroll down, and as you can see, not only we have infinite scroll, but also pagination for better SEO.